team anticipation. There's a lot of outside anticipation. But what's uh, you guys? I don't know how it feels for everybody. It feels the same for me. It's um, another series in our playoffs. I guess I'm the wrong person to ask because I've been through this a lot, playoffs and things like that. So um, I try to keep things the same. You can't go wrong when you keep the same level every time. If you approach every game the same way, uh, you, you pretty much expect the, the results you get. When you start changing things and, and getting too hyper or, or too low, then uh, things can go awry really fast. So um, I think for us, the, the main thing is the same thing Coach has been doing and saying is to stay focused on the task at hand and not get overwhelmed with media, newspaper, your friends and families. Um, your, your significant others just focus in on what we have to do um, and the team that we're going to face because that's what they're doing. Are you instructing the rookies and the younger players and the first timers to the finals? Are you just basically leading by example? What's your approach yeah. to the rest of the team? I don't, I don't approach and instruct anyone. Um, that's, yeah, that's stuff coaches do. Um, at the end, I, I just got to worry about what I have to do as a post player uh, against a very quick and very competent Atlanta Dream Team, and that's basically all I have. I don't, uh, I don't give advice about playing or anything like that because it's totally different. Every finals has been different that I've played in, uh, whether I've won or lost or even watched. And, and so, for me to do any kind of advice giving would be premature at best. And we just got to wait for game one. It's a long wait, but we're ready, and I, I believe we're capable uh, of playing our best basketball. Yeah, I think our team has, has moved past a, a few obstacles, uh, mainly the San Antonio Silver Stars, um, to, to be in rhythm and form. I don't know how long the layoff will hurt or help us, um, but for sure, for sure we've, we've been playing much better as a team, as a unit, cohesive unit, and getting over the bumps in, in the games quicker, and I think that will help us against Atlanta. You talked about routine, and that if you could describe what you first thought when you saw it after the game. I had a great, uh, I was set up because I was walking in with the coaches and uh, they stopped. And so I couldn't figure out why. They just stopped at the bottom of the stairs and they were like, oh no, go ahead, go, go. Yeah, we're gonna talk about some stuff here. And I was like, huh, okay. And I turned and there were all the people screaming and, and showing all the signs and the support. And it was amazing. Um, I've been to a lot of cities in the WNBA and I've never had that happen. So that was a first for me and a first at, at 2 a.m. I didn't even want to be there. And you had some people that were there and exciting with signs and the fans were just amazing. And it was it was warming. It warms you because, you know, like half everybody was half asleep except for me. I don't sleep on planes, but just the excitement of having fans there and it being so, so warm. I was just touched. It's a really touching thing. Now, if you, the series goes five games, you'd eclipse uh, Hammond's record for most career playoff games. What would you credit your longevity or this year ability to get so many opportunities in the postseason? Yeah, I'll always tell me some stats I never even thought about or heard or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really, um, when I decide on teams to go to, I, I really think about where I can help. Not if they can win the championship. I think a lot of people alluded to that at the beginning of the season. Um, when I signed with Minnesota, did you know, you know, yeah, you're going to have Maya Moore. And nobody knew we'd be in the finals. It's just about um, going and doing something and, and being part of something, which I knew Coach Reed was trying to make here special. And, and it's the same feeling now. I, I, longevity for me, playoffs, I mean, I'm just happy to be part of this and this situation here at the Minnesota Lynx and, and the revitalization of the sports sports franchise area excitement because it's been pretty uh, pretty sad. The fans haven't had much to cheer about. Um, and, and, you know, it's it's time. It's time. It's time for Mr. Taylor. It's time for the, um, the Lynx. And, and it's time for the city. Uh, chemistry, just knowing each other, 
I, I know a lot of players from playing against them uh, overseas in the WNBA, and so I can adjust to any players. When you've been gone overseas a lot, you can adjust quickly. And I think having everyone here during the beginning of training camp, which is something Coach Reed said they hadn't had before, first, having everybody healthy, second, having everyone here, third, having everyone buy into what she was saying, and everybody being on the same page, I think it's helped us tremendously. I mean, you can't – chemistry is not something you can say like, like real chemistry. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the scientific equation for this. And it's just – on basketball, it's just something you either have or you don't. You might normally have a few people on the court that are really good together. But for us, it just so happens that we have a high amount of people that play really well together and sacrifice part of their games to make the team better. And that's what people see when they watch us.